Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can host our Laravel website in the cPanel shared hosting. Okay, now here this is my hosting. What I will do, just open the file manager. You can refer your service provider documentation how to open the file manager. And you will see a folder called public HTML click this world icon and after that the next thing you have to do open your mysql database manager in the hosting okay you will see something like this when you're exploring then you have to create the database for example, I will create the database called test. The next step is to create the user account. Here we can say the username as test and the password can be generated. So create the user now after creating the user here I'm going to store that password in my code here if you don't know what is this file in your project of uh, root folder you will see this env file that is the file that you have to put this password and then here in your database manager you have to add user to database here you have to select the database that you created uh, no here we have to select the user account here we have to select the database that we created here we are selecting the user account here we are selecting the database so this user will be able to access this database so I am going to add now now we have to click all privileges make changes okay now I'm going to copy this user database name put that here DB username and also the database name I'm going to define the DB underscore database as that okay now we can save this env file now what I will do just open my project folder in file manager and make the compress of that all right now I'm going to just upload that file into my file manager in cPanel here we open that I'm going to click upload and then we can go ahead and upload that here okay it is uploaded so go back to your public HTML folder and then select your zip and then click extract here when you right click this you will see this extract option click extract files now you can delete the zip that you uploaded now what I will do just move everything inside this folder into public HTML folder so I'm going to just select all and click the move button and delete this project name inside public HTML I will move my files okay the next step is open the public folder inside the public HTML folder and then select everything inside this click move and you are going to delete this public 
keyword and then click move then we can delete this public folder okay the next step is here open the index.php by using the edit then when you scroll you will see something like this required there vendor auto load php you will see this dot dot forward slash what you have to do just delete forward slash dot dot then it should be like this also when you go to the down you will see dollar app is a to require once dollar and then for slash dot dot something like this here you have to delete this forward slash and dot dot now you can go ahead and save this all right now uh, we can open our browser to check everything is working or not here we are seeing some error the next step is go to back to public html folder click bootstrap right click this catch here open that catch folder you have to select this config.php click delete and confirm the deletion okay the next step is go back to the public html open your storage folder here you will see the logs folder click delete now we can refresh this okay our site is working correctly now i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe